This is an exercise for your glute medius when you've got a overactive TFL. So what can happen is when your TFL is overactive, your glute medius takes a back seat, doesn't get involved as much, TFL becomes too tight, it can have a negative effect on the hip and it can lead to a condition called iliotibial band friction syndrome or runner's knee. Okay. So there's a, and it's also good for you if you've got a glute med tendinopathy, a good way of strengthening the glute. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. What we want to do is exercise in the hip in a way where the TFL can't get involved. So if it is overactive, it has no option but to sit out and then the other muscles strengthen up and then um, start doing their job, essentially. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is locate the TFL. So here's my hip, here's Shakira. Okay, and this is a right hip, as you can see. Now the TFL sits, you've got this bony crest, and it comes through to the front, and there's this prominent angle here, the ASIS. Now the TFL sits just back from that here, and then it comes down, and then it becomes your iliotibial band running down your leg. Okay, so to find it in real life, what you have to do is get your hand on your hip, and you'll feel the bony show you feel the bony prominence the ridge line which runs along here now if you feel along this and keep walking along you will come to a natural point just here look okay once you're on that point if you sink back so there's the point there i come back off it into this tissue and all of this in here this is tfl okay now it's important to be able to find it to know that it's not working Okay, so now I'm happy I've located my TFL. What I do is I go into a sideline position. Okay. And with my top leg, what I'm going to do when I lift, I'm going to lift my knee and ankle in line to bring them level with my hip. Okay. So I find my TFL and I lift my leg and I feel for the contraction. So I can feel it harden up under my fingers. So I know I'm on the right place. Now, I draw my knees up to about 90 degrees, and I lift again. Now, if I feel a contraction of the TFL, I raise up slightly higher, and then I lift again. And I just keep lifting my leg until I feel the TFL has stopped activating. Once it's stopped activating, that's great. So then what I do, I know I'm in the right position. So then I consciously, you put your hand on top of your hip, clench your bum, Feel the muscle contract, lift your leg so your knee, ankle and hip are in line, hold for four seconds and then lower down, unclench, relax and then clench, lift, hold for four seconds and then four, down, unclench and repeat ten times, do two to three sets of these each side to, and that's going to get your glute medius going with your TFL out of the picture.